Hi guys, welcome to the 3 Euro YouTube channel. In today's video we're going to cover a user request, namely how the pistol reloads in H3VR work with the controller adapters on the controllers. I'm using the Valve Index as you can see and uh, I have a small assortment of pistols in front of me due to obvious reasons because of H3 has a lot of pistols I won't cover every single one but the pistol reload with the attachments on um, mainly depends on the pistol itself how big the handle is and how big the magazine is and um, just for easier handling when playing take and hold I prefer using the alternate magazine pose angle because then the controllers don't come in the way whatsoever but for the purpose of this video I will make uh, one reload through with the standard angle and one with the alternate angle and yeah let's get right into it so we start off with the desert eagle and this is the standard angle as you can see and not a problem so get into another one and so with h3 vr you have to be really precise to get this right in there otherwise it won't work Yeah, okay, so that's the Desert Eagle. Now we move on to the 1911. So, as you can see, sometimes here the controls can come in the way, but usually it shouldn't be too much of an issue. But if you're in a hurry and really want to reload very fast, it's also possible. But sometimes, yeah, it can be a little bit tricky. Okay. So. Now to the shadow, this is this magazine, yes correct, and here again not a problem, also fast reloads, you just have to hit it right, yeah, okay, so that's it, actually works very well again. Now to the Glock, again not an issue, works very well, I like to use this one, especially Item spawner runs just for fun. Okay, now we move on to the 5.7. Again, not an issue here. Also, fast reloads if I hit it correctly. Come on. Okay, but that's just my incompetence right now, as you can see. Okay, good. Now we move on to the Beretta, I guess. This is the magazine for it. Yes, correct. And yeah, also not a problem. Also fast reloads. If I hit it right, yeah. And that's it. As you can see. And now with the jet fair, I picked this one out because it's really tiny and the magazine is really tiny. But with a little bit of fondling around in there, you get it. Okay, another one. Hmm quick reload not that simple with this one also the chambering but it works you get it okay so now we switch to the alternate magazine angle as, as I said my preferred option as you see with the Desert Eagle just works you might get a little bit used to it because it's an alternate angle and you might too yeah practice a little bit so you get the angle right again because when you were used to this and now you have to do this then that's it okay now to the shadow I mean to the 1911 sorry works pretty well again as I said just takes a little bit of practice then to the shadow now uh, I guess it's still, yeah, still wrong is it still wrong is it? I thought it was the right one no, yeah, it is the right one. I just have to hit the correct spot there. As you can see, very easy. Okay, to the clock. If you hit the correct position, then it goes very fast. So, now to the 5, 7. Again, very easy. Okay, and now to the Beretta. 
again, as you can see, very smooth. As you can see, I'm way more used to this uh, angle than the other one. So, and now we move on to the jet fire, and as you can see, because it's so tiny, I don't get the position right, but you can see my camera that the controllers don't hit each other too much when I try to reload. I'm just not hitting the ugh, correct spot, and I haven't thrown out the magazine, but yeah, this one works. Yeah, this one works, as I said. So, okay. That's it for this video. I hope I could answer your questions and I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and as always, have a great day. Bye.